Hi, my name is Shen, and welcome back to Let's Play Life is Strange. So now, I've been out for like a week struggling with my breath and with my lungs and then... And yeah, the season's got a pretty tough jump on me, but I'm back now, I'm mad, and I'm much better now, thanks to my doctors. And since I've got my bandages freshly on my legs now, that means I'm not very able to do much today, but I can guarantee you uploads tomorrow morning. That's why I'm recording now, so I can get it up tomorrow morning, Tuesday. And I hope you get you can enjoy this. So, I've been waiting for this so long now. It's episode 4, Dark Room. So, I hope you remember what happened in episode 3, but I believe, just like in the previous ones, we'll get to see a... Previously on Life is Strange thing. So, let's get right into it. And, of course, copyrighted music everywhere, but what else, right? I don't do this... Do this. Oh, wow. I don't do this... I, I suck at speaking. I don't do this for the money, so... Here we go. Alternative beach. Okay, sounds freaky already. I like it. Previously yeah. on Life okay. is Strange. Whoa. Go on. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Oh, man. Getting all Let's emotional. talk about your superpower. What are oh, you no. doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, alright? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No. No, you don't. Don't do it. Do you know what it's oh, like man? to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> no. Hello? Are you even listening, Shut Maxine? Up. This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Okay. Back to the story. It's tearing me up. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, man. Just a flashback. Oh, I, I pushed it aside as much as I could when I did. <laughs> oh, man, no. <sighs> okay. What? Beach. Yeah, I can do that. Beach. Happy times. Oh. Okay. Can I look around? No, I can't do shit. Okay. Square Enix! I'm just gonna say Square Enix is on a roll lately. They have so many good games at the moment. Love it. Like, Deus Ex Mankind Divided. I'm gonna let's play the shit out of that. You know it. <laughs> oh, come on, one. Oh. Gonna show me bikes when I remember that she's in the freaking chair? Don't not. You, you took good. Oh, sorry, I gotta come on everything so I don't start crying like a baby. Uh, man. Would you stop the freaking music? Let me play. Holy shit, stop pushing my buttons. It's pissing me off to, to a degree. Yeah, okay. Life is Strange, episode 4, Dark Room. Yeah, cool. Come on! 
Stop teasing me. Oh, there's the lighthouse. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> no. Oh, the whales. What have I done? Oh, man. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. Oh, man. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. Oh, come and on! I wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. Be bitchy! That's you! You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. I don't know. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. <laughs> but you could take some amazing shots. Shut up. Those I want to rewind so time sad. right about now. I kind of know how they feel. Oh, come on! At least, I'm alive here with you. Oh, come on! You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you I mean, have to do how, it. How's Max so feeling? Much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Um. Let's talk about. Okay, where's my fucking mouse? There we go. Are you sorry. okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? No. There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... No. And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. <sighs> I, I don't know the what van, to say. The SUV, that must don't be. Don't say anything. Dude. I'm just the happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean she doesn't know Rachel? Are you fucking kidding me? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Don't say that. Don't say that. I'm not trying to bum you out. I'm sorry, just I'm just sitting seems up like straight. Bay is having a meltdown. I know things seem out of control, but... As long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Oh yes Hanging you are. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen... I know! Please. I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Frick. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't Look think so. Neck. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? My nose is getting cold. cold, that's how she feels! Oh, like, you've got I, to be kidding I, me. That word, no offense. None taken. You didn't hate it back then. <laughs> I feel horrible. I'm so selfish. I tried to change for her sake, but really was for my sake, so I could flatten out the story and I screwed this much up. I feel terrible. Oh man. I said the way too often. It's only been 10 minutes and no way, oh come on.
It's gotta be a joke. It's gonna snow. It sounds like snow. A windy snow. -y. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard yeah. for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Oh, Sometimes man. I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. Uh, but you're still amazing. Frick. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh... Can you can you bring me some water? Yeah, sure, sure. Water. Snow though. Water. Teddy bear. Of course, it's right next door. The. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh it's man. So bad now. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing oh. a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. No, you're not. It was just a thought. I know you're, you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids mm -hmm. in another life. Seems like yesterday. To me, it seems like yesterday we were little brats here, watching Power Rangers and I just watched going that too. in the kitchen. Oh my I god. We covered everything in flour, even my parents. That was so hilarious. <sighs> but a long time ago. You're the only person that I grew up with who visits me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. I, I can't rub it in. You have me. I can't. I'm I literally cannot. Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. Oh. That's what my parents are for. Are they okay? Are they okay? I mean, are they so happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. Oh, come on! Get off and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. They Max, are, yeah. The accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay? Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to oh, you crack jokes like that? watch a movie like I mean, we'd spend the night at Maybe you have to. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. Oh. You would look incredible with blue hair. Yeah, you well, let's would. Let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. I feel terrible. Ugh. Oh man.
Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> yeah, totes. Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think- Stop so. thanking me! That must be her mighty morphine machine. No, no more bongs for her. Nothing but medical supplies. Really? She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. There's the old Chloe. There has to be something that I can do. Oh, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Yeah, I, I agree. should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Um. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. Oh. I should have kept more in touch. I'm sorry. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. Oh, That's so that cool makes... that Chloe has made friends online. Miss Blue, so what are you doing? Talking with you? Haha, <laughs> no shit. I'm about to binge on Quantum Leap, RNG, Love, Scott Bakula rules. Let me get back to you while you're bringing on Bakula. You better. Hello? I mean, she's so dependent on this. I... <sighs> Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Yeah. All parents were this great, really. It's nice my parents sent a card, at least. Chloe, you know we love you, and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see you smiling face soon. Please be well, Ryan and Vanessa Caulfield. Thinking of you. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. <clears throat> Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. I know... Know that I'm here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. Megan. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like I hope you're well, etc. I know your life is so different now and I don't want to get in the way of your of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you're well. Love, Max. Oh, I write bullshit. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. No, it didn't. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Me neither. She's got a rabbit on and everything. Snow globes are taking over. Oh. Is a bra. Ah, uh, here's the DVD. Yay. Let's take a look at this. All right. Take a look. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. I need a picture, don't I? I still have this firm belief in my head that I can change something. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. Tyra Power. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Does she really? That's a serious heat lamp. It's a heat lamp? Oh my. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? I bet she does. She can't even feel the grass now. Don't put I'm these bitter as ever. I don't want to disappoint you. Yeah, that's why I'm doing this. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. I suck. Gutless bastard. 
I am so glad Chloe stole your bullshit fund, even if it wasn't another reality. Wow, really? Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. I feel... Oh, uh, I don't even know what to say. You know what? Let's watch a DVD and sh I'll shut up. Okay. I don't know. She looked at me like that, I mean, is that good, is it bad, is it something? I fell asleep this time, not Chloe. She's awake. She's literally awake. It's kind of creepy. Oh, she needs a drink. I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? I think you need sorry, to drink something. I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> oh. Yesterday was such a blast. It's gonna it keep was great being a blast. Seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you. Oh, stop bullshit. it, please. The fields. What the hell? Come on. Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Yes, morphine yes. Injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, yes. My parents keep this wag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm yeah. all right, Chloe. Sure. I mean... Yeah. Morphin injector. I never even heard of that until now. Hey, William. Am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. I need a photograph right I'd now. I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? I was impressed by Chloe's room and... All the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? Yeah, no, maybe. I don't know. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? It is. 
I was reading about that missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Yeah. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. What? I don't even like to think about it. Joyce is working for them? Oh no. What do you think is going on that's, with all of this so crazy trouble. weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Yeah, makes sense. I don't know how to say this, but I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me? Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Yeah, let's take a look at the paper. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. Oh, That's great. terrible. You can stop it if you want to read that. These whales are just a preview of the tornado. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Ugh. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. I don't know what to do. I, 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 oh, she needs some mats. That's right. Wait. Yeah, let's... Wait, Joyce is not here to make pancakes. Oh, man. Oh. This place looks sad. This was a room. Take a look at the letter. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been spilling up and I, I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next time. Spring for a visit. Kiss, Clo kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. So then, touch like that. Shoes. <laughs> Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Yeah. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. No. They bought crutches for Chloe, <laughs> hoping she might walk again. I had crutches a few times before. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Oh. I mean, you can stop if you want to read this. Some things I'll read. we never had to hide from Step Douche. I don't know. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. Nope, get up, get up. I hear copyrighted music. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Um, yeah, this is all I have for now, so thank you all so much for watching. 
please leave a like and maybe subscribe with comments in section below. I'm Ruthie. See you next time. Bye bye!